So in this course, we are going to look, we're going to design a task list app, which will be quite intensive. Um, but let me take you through on how the app will look like. So first we'll have a landing screen. This is the first type of landing screen that we'll have that will have an image and some few text widgets. And then we're going to have a button that will navigate us to the home page. So in a home page, it's going to display our lists or list of tasks. So we'll have the first one which will show all tasks and they will have uh, these other ones which will be a, a number of lists, different types of lists that a user has created so the last one will always uh, represent an add list where a user can click and it will allow them to enter which is in this section add list allow them to enter a list name and it will be able to pop up and join the rest of the list that the user has so in all lists it will display all the items in all the lists uh, it will look something like this we'll have a option where a user once they've been able to complete the an item they're able to check it and also it will show the different type which category or which list which item this specific uh which list this item is in then we'll have an option where if you have selected a specific uh list it will display display the items of that specific um list next uh, in below here you'll notice that we have home recipe and files um, of course it's a very uh, best book or customized task list app because we want to actually incorporate everything that we need to be able to understand all the types of concepts that we can implement in our data frog course so i added another um um menu at the bottom for recipe and what it's going to help us appreciate or understand in that frog is the use of rest apis we're going to use a rapid api to actually generate a random recipe that will be displayed over here then the third one will be files as you can see so in the files section it will allow us to click and upload a specific file and be able to send it to the dart frog backend uh, application and it for it to be processed so this will allow us to appreciate the how to upload files different types of files to the backend then on this uh, home screen you'll notice that there's this small icon over here which when you click and it shows a form of a chart it will direct us to our chat room so the purpose of this screen is to teach us on how websocket communication works in that frog and for a few more we have a few more screens and one of them is a sign up and a sign in because we're going to incorporate the concept of authentication and it will have a username and a password on each and lastly we have a screen that will show a setting screen that allows a user to delete the account that they have created and the purpose of this screen is to explain the author authorization mechanism so briefly with all that um this is the basic uh, skeleton or what we're going to design uh, in terms of the flutter application i hope it makes sense now let's proceed to creating the logic first or the back inside of things